We're in Notting Hill, a part of London. Who knows if this report will ever be transmitted. Like most stations, we're experiencing technical problems. Los Angeles is like a war zone. We will be transferring responsibilities to the emergency broadcast system. I think everyone's dead. I kind of got the feeling when the news stopped broadcasting two days ago. It's the last time I had contact with someone. With anyone. Even my mom. She's calling non-stop. It's like everything just decided to end. All at the same time. The scope of this epidemic is now reaching global proportions. All the wailing sirens, the news updates, they all just stopped. And then everything went quiet. Before the news did cut off, they said something about how scientists claimed that the virus was some mutated form of the bird flu or something. It started off with one. And there were two and thirty and more. And then they stated that it could be airborne. They didn't say it was. But I didn't want to take any chances. seen way, way too many movies, documentaries, about viral outbreaks. I knew that even the slightest breath of air could touch against the skin, that it could be a successful transmission. I avoided contact with everyone, my neighbors. My apartment manager. Them. I've never gone so long without coming in contact with anyone before. I'd rely on the television to keep me company. But now it's just static. It seems all I've got left is just me. in my thoughts. The thought of living in a world where everyone around me is dead gets me thinking. Sometimes I think that throwing myself over the edge of my balcony will solve everything. But then I remember that if the fall doesn't kill me, they will. It's getting colder. Power's probably gonna go out soon at these apartments, which means the heat's gonna stop. This place will become a giant freezer. Trash is starting to stink up the place. Could probably catch some other disease if I stay here too long. Food's getting low. Temperatures are getting colder. I'll have to get out of here sooner or later. Sooner or later. Probably sooner. Everybody's dead. Everyone I know, my family, my friends, my co-workers, classmates, anyone I've ever come into contact with in my life He's probably dead. We're one of them. And that is something I don't want to live to see. The sad part is, probably outside that door, walking around, waiting. 
for me. If you're watching this, I've decided to go outside where everyone else is. Where my mom is, my dad, my friends and family members. Everyone I've ever associated myself with. And they will all find me. And I'll become one of them. And then I won't feel so alone.